Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Reese? Here. Chair Common? Here. Vice Mayor DeVoya? Here. Uh, member Ms. Polio? Here. And member Mr. Massey? Here. <clears throat> All right, any public comment? Seeing none, except our video recorder. Is he going to take any public comment? Oh, we had a nice chat with him before you guys over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we need to review the minutes from the last meeting. <clears throat> Make sure we're all comfortable with them. Number five by me, I'll move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There was a typo on the second set, which was Alan and Tilden's name was misspelled. Okay. All right. What about the second set of minutes? That was what that I was, was saying. What did we just approve? The 12th or the 14th? Both of them subject to the amendment. Okay. All right. Let's, let's re vote it, both of them, just to make sure. Both minutes for the November 12th and January 14th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? November. Okay. Um, which um, how many I'm minutes? I'm confused. Okay. The, there's. A March, the first set of minutes are the draft minutes for March um, 2011. Right. Those are the draft minutes. Uh, we're moving to, there's no changes in that one. So everybody's Well, okay. on the agenda, the first set of minutes we're supposed to talk about are January. final minutes for January, which I think are, I think are correct, and I thought that's what we were voting. Well, I said both the January and the November. Okay. Oh, wait. Well, I there's no November. There's no November. No, no, no. January and March. So I don't know what you're looking at. I must be looking at the draft minutes for the March 11th. That's what I'm looking at. Right. Yeah. March 11th. You need the agenda. <clears throat> you need, we need to operate on uh, We'll get this right. Please. Let me see. All right. Uh, So we're approving the January 14 minutes. Yes, the March 11th draft minutes and the April 9th draft minutes. Now are all those here? Yes. There's the draft minutes of March 11th. Draft minutes. Yeah, my printer got all screwed up. I don't know that I have the first page, but I don't have the second page. Actually, in my pack, I didn't have it, James. It's all yours. So the process of this committee has been to approve a set of minutes and then review minutes but not approve them and then set them on the next agenda for approval. All right, we approve the minutes for January 14th. Yeah, you're right. just reviewing the minutes. Now we're reviewing the 11th and the 9th. Yes. Right. All right, now the 11th, I have the first page, but I don't have the second page. Does anybody have the second page? So I do. Here you go. favor of the draft through March 11th. That's draft. Say aye. 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 All right, then April 9th. 
Yes, I managed to have a first page. April 9th. Uh, Draft. There's only a first one page. page. There's only a first page. Mm -hmm. If it makes you feel better, great, there's only a first page. <laughs> You're still with us. That's the one where Alan. That's the one where uh, Mr. Antoven is misspelled on the. Correct. Well, correct. All right, on the April 9th minutes, we want to discuss the point that we made there about the conditions of our uh, audit retention. Or is that on the agenda? Is that item six? Item six is, is uh, regarding follow-up on clarification regarding these uh, Santa. Well, what about the uh, item three on the... Uh, oh, he's looking at today's agenda. No, I'm looking at April 9th. I want to make sure that they've agreed to do that. Oh, they have. They've so agreed to sense. change the audit partners, uh, and they've been agreed to add an additional manager on the audit team. And we, we verified that before we went before council. Yeah, we didn't talk about the fees. The fees should really go down, but I'll, I'll trust that they will charge us for what they incur. Because the manager is a cheaper billing rate than the partner, so if they substitute manager hours for partner hours, there should be a decrease in total cost. But I, you know, since we didn't dwell on it, I'm not sure we're going to get it. Is the contract saved for hours or is it saved dollars? Dollars. I believe they're not to exceed costs. Mm -hmm. Not to not exceed. Yeah. Well, then so I they assume they'll bill us on their hours. Right. And I would just. But it, 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 exactly. It's not to exceed, so they can. Depends on how many hours they put in between the partner and the manager, but they'll, they'll substitute probably most likely the manager hours that they would get or supervisor hours and swap a manager hours to make it equal the total. Well, I think it should come out less, but that's up to them to figure it out. But I would at least suggest that that, that should happen. You know, if it doesn't happen, they may have other reasons, but in theory it should happen. All right, uh, did we approve the night for final approval? All in favor of April 9th draft, aye. say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, so we've got the two drafts for March 11th and April 9th approved mm -hmm. to go in the final form. Yes. All right. I'd like to make a point of order if today's agenda has the wrong date on it. It says May 5th and not May 5th. Right, and it was corrected uh, in the one that I sent you all yesterday, the reminder. Said May 3rd, 13th. I wanted to buy when I picked up the police department this morning. We were wrong. Yeah. Yes, that one. Um, okay, I just did one other come in. There were other mistakes, too. That yeah. correct, <laughs> the correct one is the 13th. Yes. And then the one on the website does say the 13th. It's just the packet that was printed out said the date. And, and the corrected one was sent out yesterday as, as part of the reminder in the email with the new agenda. All right, so it's a one page agenda dated. May 13th, and we're, we've completed items one through four, and now we'll move on to item five unless somebody else has something on one through four. All right, let's go on with item five. Just review and discuss the assumptions forecast of the fiscal year 14 15. Budget. Okay. Um, in your packets, there are three items there's the annual financial report as of April. There's a five-year forecast, and then there's an assumption and department's projections. Um, and part of your PowerPoint, I don't know why I'm, I'm slow. The reaction. <laughs> You're already there, huh? I'm there, yeah. Um, well, what is the first one? Because I've got them here, but I don't have them in the right order, so i got to help. Okay. Well, we can go over the... Um, the combined statement of revenues, and then I will go through the actual uh, PowerPoint. Let's see. Oh, it's in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um,
So we're on the blue pages? Yes, uh, we're going to review the annual financial report and go over the assumptions and department projections. I'm going to go through the PowerPoint first and then we'll go over the uh, combined statement of revenue expenditures, our five year forecast, and go from there. Uh, our assumptions for this year, uh, fiscal year 14 15, as we prepare the budget, uh, property tax revenues are at 4% for fiscal year 14 15. Building department revenues are projected at 2%. Franchise fees are stable, and they were based off of our ending projection this year, uh, based, basically seeing where they're coming in as, as, a, as of um, this current fiscal year. All other charges for services is at 2%, and revenues are evaluated if they are one-time revenues or if there's something that we're consistently getting, or making sure that um, those aren't budgeted again if they're one-time revenues. Uh, ERAC revenues, uh, this is one of the discussions that has been going on throughout the state and cities and counties. Uh, that we're treating them as one-time revenues that may decrease every year. Uh, this year we budgeted 700000 in ERAC and we're anticipating to budget that same amount, even though this year we received a million ninety-two thousand for ERAC. Uh, another of the assumptions is consideration, consideration of parcel tax revenue use. Uh, the funding of the OPEP, OPEP Trust and reduction of the ARC general expense. As we funded the OPEP Trust in the last two years, we, we contributed up to 3.29 uh, million in the trust. So what, what that has done, what that has done, it's reduced our active that we're paying towards our retirees' active portion. So that's about 130,000 reduction because of what we've been paying towards that trust. And as we are, we pay as you go, uh, as, as, as retirees. So, so there's a savings in there, and that was one of the assumptions. Department requests were minimal and based on, um, basically on additional operational services were needed. And so everyone was, was conservative and, and only budgeting on, on need-based. So our, our total budget hasn't really increased on the operation side. And so that's where we get some net savings. Why don't we go back Tell us how you got the four percent and two percent. The four percent. Well, the two percent on the on the building department revenues. It, right now, we're we're projected to be about one point four million, one point five million in revenues in, in building department, and we're we're anticipating that that we've had some significant growth this year. We're we're anticipating that we won't have a huge amount of growth, um, similar to property taxes that we're assuming. But uh, we were just keeping those as, um, static, pretty much, on the building department revenues. No, but isn't that contrary to everything we read in the paper? It is, but also that depends on, you know, building permits that are being taken out. Uh, the way building permits work here in the town is uh, a building permit would be, be taken out today for construction that won't finish probably two years from now. The way it, you know, they're building these homes, you know, the, the building permit could be from start to finish in that, uh, from a year to almost two years. I think, uh, I think the chair's addressing the 2% building department revenue projection mm -hmm. and that the building department permit costs, he's saying there's more activity in town, why wouldn't we project more permit revenue? Only because in meeting with, with uh, InterWest with our building department, we, we based it off of what they project in their expenditures. The way it works is they get 55% based off of uh, the first million and then 58% uh, off the first million and then anything after that they get 55%. So we base it off of their expenditures on um, what they expect uh, through the permit process. You said, give me those two percentages again. It's 58% and 55%. And well, uh, year to date, for the current fiscal year, are we seeing approximately a 2% increase in building department revenues to the town? Yes. Yes. So, so you're assuming the same... The same going forward. The, with, without additional growth. Mm -hmm. or uh, Is your 2% an increase from the current year's projection? Is that yes. The, so the, so you're, the you're, you're projecting continued growth at the rate you've experienced this year. Mm -hmm. 
which is in reality probably more than 2% year over year. Right? Right. A little bit. Yeah. So that's, that's where we'd be. That's when that that contract, when does that, when does that contract expire? Uh, it was just renewed for another two years. I think. Same percentages? Yes. So in reality, there's permit payments that are approximately twice that it sounds like since they keep a little over they, they keep a little less than 50 percent mm -hmm. that's their fee and we and the town's revenue is a little over 50 percent yes okay. but we just kept it pretty much uh based on how we are right now we're going to finish this year we, we based it off of going forward into the next fiscal year all right, and what about the 4%? Now, what is your thinking there? Uh, the 4% is because that's projection is that the overall taxable value in the town is expected to be about 4 and, four, four and 3 quarters percent. But, you know, the CPI is project, projected not to be 2% this year. It's estimated maybe about 4.45% 4, this year. So the 4% is based off of where we are going to project to finish at the end of this year into next year. So th that's why we're basing it. Didn't we have 9% last year? Yes, but we don't, we don't get the full growth of that 9%. Did it all happen last year before this year? Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, but there's a there's a formula of that whole 9%. So much, 15% right now is the recapture of prop, pre, prop eight properties, and then the remaining amount uh, it has to do with new construction, new sales value, and, and the growth. So last year we had 674 million in growth, but we get technically 1% of that change, which would be, right now we're about 7.5, 7.59 billion. So one percent would be seventy-nine million, and we get actually point zero eight three percent of that amount based off of our tax rate area. So, so Robert, did, you didn't have to print out your email answer to my question, did you? No, because that totally addresses what Greg's asking. Yeah. I'll forward that. Um, that email. Okay. So uh, I, had a, I had asked about the difference over the last assessment period of how much revenue growth was due to Prop 8, which is catch up, right, the, for, for those value, properties that were devalued in 08 and 09, they've caught up. How much, how much of the growth was catch up from Prop 8 and how much of it was due to uh, sales resulting in a new assessed value? And, and I. I was surprised that 15% was the Prop 8 catch-up and about 72 or 75%? About 71% was, was everything else, transfer of ownership, non-residential. That's percentage of the increase? That's right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you would think that 75% would continue, I guess uh, you're make, having to make a projection about right. the property values. I hope. What you're projecting 4% over what? Over what we what we're anticipating this fiscal year, what we're projecting to end this fiscal year is what we're projecting. Year end of June. Yes. So four percent. We got the nine percent in this fiscal year's budget, right? Right. right. Whatever uh, Greg's talking about that increase, he's projecting four percent increase beyond that in the next fiscal year, which is probably a conservative you number. Know, probably correct. conservative, just like most likely. So, so, but we yeah. wouldn't project another nine percent or no, ten percent. That'd be a year. little aggressive, right? right. Now. That seems to be. Reason. And it's conservative, it could easily be higher. And isn't that what the consultant told us the range of growth for next year was going to be? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, that the CPI, uh, that if this fiscal year was 2%, next year, which is the 14 15, they anticipated not to reach the CPI. Right. Up to the max of 2%. So if it comes in greater than better. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's something we'll, we can re reevaluate at mid year uh, right now. I think it's this four percent based off of the history is 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 not overzealous in trying to project and then come back. I'd rather um, see where we're at mid-year and if if it comes in higher and 
break if it came in the opposite? Then that then and the year be, starts July one. July one. Yeah. We don't want to commit resources in the expenditure side of our budget, right. having over estimated revenues right. on the revenue side of our budget. Right. The state's been pretty good at that. Yeah, but the government yeah, we're to the town's going to try to do a little bit. <laughs> we're trying to land on that. All right, I just uh, I don't want to look foolish a year from now for the ten percent increase. That... And, and this this building and park revenues you're talking about are the general revenue category building fees, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. as opposed to the building department fund, which is still floating around out there. Yes, the facility. Um, Construction fund. Yeah, but it, it, it does have some income somehow. That's interest. Eighteen thousand. Oh. Yeah. Did you go out for a bid on that, or what? Did they just negotiate, renegotiate the contract? Renegotiating the contract. We just did that. Yes. Yeah. Moving on. All right. Any other questions? I'm still a little nervous that it's too low, but. I'd rather be too low than too high. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, my, and the, the two million bucks that got thrown into the OPEP trust. Yes. Uh, where am I going to find that on the expenditure? That's on the that? inner inner department. Yeah. It, uh, fund. And as we go through this, you'll see um, how it's changed from actual. You'll see the two million in the inner department spreadsheet portion. I think I found it this morning. Robert, Robert one other question. Uh, on, uh, on the assumption regarding charges for services, mm -hmm. are those principally fees that are related to the park? They're uh, basically like planning, park. Uh, I see, so pl including planning, because mm -hmm. so that's a service. Encroachment, permits, those type those type of services, uh, police services, uh, we, we, we kind of, um, we, we, and, and that's why I put in there and other revenues that are evaluated. We evaluate based on not only how, how particularly that charge for service has been, we look at it, and if it's not going to be 2%, and we don't budget it that way. So we just we gauge um, how we've done throughout the year, and then we, we anticipate. You know, probably the same as we did this year in certain categories. Okay. Kind of an overview of the general fund, uh, the total general fund is the uh, fiscal year 12 13, the revenues are 11.5 million, and this is without the parcel tax, and 10.5 million in expenditures for 12 13 actual. Uh, 12 at the 13-14 estimate, we estimate 12 million in revenue and 12.8 million in expenditures. And projecting into this uh, new 14-15 budget, it's 12.3 million in revenues and 11.5 million in expenditures. Um, the 13-14 estimate is higher only because we've had some one-time, some addition, some contributions. Uh, one particular two million for the parcel, the not the parcel, the OPEC. Uh, fine. So, so your two million is in the twelve point eight. Yes, sir. And then here's it, it, so this is an open. And why is eleven five so much higher than the ten five? That's the actual revenues that did can't come in at, in, in fiscal year twelve thirteen, and that was particularly due to property tax revenues that came in higher um, in twelve thirteen. Also building department uh, revenues that came in uh, higher. The majority of it was uh, that, and then also ERAP had come in higher in the in <coughs> 12 13. So I think he's talking expenditures. On the 11, 10, 10, 5, oh, 12, 12 13, and 11, 5, 14, 15. Uh, I was, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about the 11, 5 revenue. But the 11.5 million in the expenditures, the reason that that difference is the 12.8 million to 11.5, the big difference is that 2 million contribution. What, what, what is the difference between the prior year, 12, 13, 10.5? 10 10 You'll 10 take the 2 million out and be 10, 8. Mm -hmm. What's the increase from 10, 8 to 5, 11, 5? Well, I guess we're going to go through that. 
from the the 10.5 you mean? 10.5 to 11.5. The 10, oh, well, it well, takes 10.8 off to 12.8. The 10.8 to 11.5, that's about what, 700,000, 730,000, the difference. And that is attributed to uh, some, some increasing expenditures for uh, certain departments uh, hiring, and one particular uh, police department. Uh, increases in maintenance and services, increases in professional services, enhanced maintenance at the park. Uh, additional services that um, some departments require. When does the council have to address the, the parcel tax, whether they re collect it all or a portion of it? They're discussing it in two meetings, one the June uh, study session, June 2nd, I think it is, and the regular meeting on June 18th. June 4th. Because that's the real significance here of the 1415 particularly the revenues, I guess, and the expenses. As, as we go through, when we go, when we go over the, the five-year forecast, we can explain to show why we show the without the parcel tax, because it's um, below our total revenues and expenditures. And so you can see uh, the significance of it. Well, it, it, the capital expenditures also are relevant mm -hmm. to that decision. Yes. So, All right. So just to clarify, Robert, the estimated 1314 uh, expenses include the money that was paid against OPEB last year. Or last year. Yes. And the projected 11.5 million expenses for 1415 don't include any payment uh, against OPEB. That no. Not no, no payment against OPEB, no... Um, well, you'd have the current cost, wouldn't you? Right, right. But no, if the council wishes to contribute additional amount... We no catch-up payment. Then, then they could. Um, but you'd have your normal OPEB cost. Yes, right. that's built in. Correct. It's is built it just in, the pay-as-you-go, or is there a it's, cool... It's the only the pay-as-you-go, because um, we backed out, we took out the 130000 for the active portion of employees that retirement because there's enough in the trust. We're putting enough in the trust. So we, we reduce that active portion, which is a 130,000 reduction in our expenditures. Because we, we're pay as you go for current retirees, but the actives, we reduce that amount because we've contributed enough. In the Are we gonna get into this further or should I ask another question? No. Into this, like what? The, okay. okay. <laughs> because I, I I, I, I would think that we're going to spread over the unfunded amount as if we're not going to put any more money in the open one-time catch-up. Yes, but the, and then that's probably a discussion we could have further with, when the council decides what they want to do as far as contributions either to OPEP to capital projects or to reserves. But the OPEP portion, the pays you go, it, it's it's probably prove that you continue to pay that. Oh yeah, you gotta pay and that. No, you, you pay that because not not taking that out of the trust. You, the trust is, is the, we funded it, but that's funding for the future. And we wanna continue to contribute that to the point where there's enough in that trust that then you don't have to do the pay as you go anymore. And the active is fully funded. So we wanna put it in the trust so it gains enough interest and it builds and it grows. Um, stopping because we put money in there and then stop using that as an expenditure every year it's kind of it'll defeat the purpose of why we did that because we, we could have just kept that money and got under progress with it when did the accounting rules kick in that you've got to accrue the cost not to pay as you go for the OPEC that is or is there any no, there's there's no requirement. The only the no pet, the only required right now is we have to show the net OPEP obligation of what we owe based off of what we should have paid today and in this in real time. But we're more than covered in our net OPEP contribution because we contributed towards that that trust. We've got three point two million already sitting in the bank in the trust. Are we investing that long term? I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's one, maybe I mistook what you said, but 
the goal would not be to fill that bank account no. so that we no longer had monthly payments. That's that would be absurd. Right. Okay. Right. But how are we investing that? Is that that's not just in short term stuff, is it? It's in a moderate index with part with part um, pars act that we use. I mean sorry, pars. We use pars. And so it's in a moderate index that it's invested in. Um, it is well, we should look at that because, you know, this is a long-term fund. This is not the same as the money for the city. So it would be like PERS and STRS where you'd have long-term investments rather than you could get into other investments other than the normal ones that the city uses. Okay, and, and we use, and we don't invest, we, we pay it towards the trust, and the trust E invests it based off of what we choose on, on the index. And... When that was proposed, when they opened this trust, the council and at the time chose to put it in a moderate index, moderate investment index. So what kind of returns are we talking about? Uh, it, at the time, about six percent. Oh, all right. So you, yeah. you're getting more than one percent. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why I was concerned. I, got, I have a question. Did, did I hear that this presentation on the revenue side, getting off the expense side? Does not include allocation of parcel tax at this point. In this this scenario, it doesn't. It's just showing without the parcel tax. Sure. It says without. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I knew that. Readings, readings in the court of skill. And the fact that these numbers on this slide don't match these spreadsheets is because I've got I've got bad spreadsheets, right? Uh, you have. The spreadsheet no, that you've got is equal to equal. This is actual. Yeah. Well, you, so you don't have the parcel tax, the revenue portion in there? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because we, we wanted to show the... This is general fund, though. Yeah. The parcel tax is a special fund. Yeah. Well, no, but it's not for the police. The police is... Right. It's police is still a special fund. The parcel tax doesn't contribute as a well, revenue. the expenses the the, the par that the parcel tax pay for, are they in here? They're general fund. Police... Anything that comes in and out of the general fund is general fund. If it's a special fund, like the parcel tax, measure A, measure M, it's all separate fund, and then transfers into the general fund. All Robert's projecting here is expenditures in and out of the general fund. General fund. Well, yeah. there's 800000 in the parcel tax that covers the police. 1.116. 1.116, 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. right. All right, maybe it's 800 on the other side. Yeah, it's capital price, 743. Yeah. But if you... If it covers part of the 11.5. Yeah, but we don't. But all we're showing here is the general fund. It, the parcel tax is a special fund. It's outside of the general yeah, fund. You're not showing the expenses related to those. Yeah, they all are. Here. This has the... 100% well, of the police department is funding in, in this slide. Then this slide. But the 1.1 million would increase the... Yes. Surplus. Yes. You know, it begs the question when the, how much of that parcel tax we need to keep. So, Greg, you subtract two million and then you add one million plus. <laughs> That's pretty much what we're doing. Well, no, but I. You see, guys got to decide. I'm just saying that maybe I'm too uh, preoccupied with but that. But I, I think that, that discussion will come up, uh, as, as George said, it will come up in June. Um, when we discuss the capital projects, you know, what we're presenting to the council.